Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how to fix connecting to integration services access denied error. So this is my profile. I have 13 plus years of experience on Microsoft technologies. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is how to fix connecting to integration services access denied error. In my last video, I have showed you how to deploy the SSIS package to file system. The another option was that how we can deploy the SSIS package to SQL Server as well. So if you are trying to deploy the SSIS package to SQL Server, then you should have the access to connect to the integration services. So let me open my management studio and then try to connect to the integration services. Alright, so you can see that from server type, there is an option integration services. So I can just select this one. And then from server name, I can just browse the server, whatever server is available here. So this is my server, I can click OK. And then I can try to connect. So when I'm trying to connect to this one, so this is giving me an error. Connecting to the integration services on, on this computer field with access is denied error. Okay. So this is the error that I'm getting. So how I can fix this one? So to fix this one, we need to open the component services. So you can open this one. You can maximize this one. Now you can expand the component services, expand computers, expand my computer, and then click on the DCOM config. And then maybe you can type M and uh, then you need to select the integration services. So my integration services version is integration services 15.0 so if you want to check like which version of integration services you are running so you can just go to the services and here you can find the integration services so let me show you so i have two versions of integration services 14.0 and 15.0 so let me do it for 15.0 because I think that 15.0 is installed. So if you if you right click on this particular 15.0 integration services and go to the properties and then you need to go to the security and here under launch and activation permissions you need to click on edit and then you need to add your user here. So just click on add and add your user. So my username is HP. So I can click check names and I can click OK. I can just click on all these check boxes. Click OK. And then you need to go here, access permissions and click on edit. Add the your user here. So I can click on check names. OK. Now click OK. Apply. OK. So I have added my permission to integration services 15.0. Now what I need to do, I need to just go back here and restart the services. All right, and now let me just restart the management studio as well. So let me reopen the management studio. Let me just try to connect to this integration services again. Click connect. So you can see that now I got connected to this integration services. And uh, if you expand this store procedures, so you will find the packages which are deployed to the MSDB database. So here you can create some folders and you can deploy the SSIS packages here. In my next video, I will show you how to deploy the SSIS package to MSDB database. So I think that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching the video. And if you like the video, then please click the like button. Do subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.